All right, welcome back to the drive through boys and girls. Hungry? Stop by the deli. Make yourself a roast beef sandwich on marble rye with Dijon mustard and Kojak cheese. We're at door number 81 from section 10-1. It says, three forces with magnitudes of 75 pounds, 100 pounds, and 125 pounds act on an object at angles of 30, 45, and 120 degrees with the positive axis. Find the direction and the magnitude of the resultant force. All right, starting to apply these things. There's no reason to take high-level math pro classes unless you can apply them to something. That's my take. So we've got a 30 degree angle, and this is 75 pounds. That's why we're using vectors. We've got a direction, and then in this case, the magnitude uh, is, the, is the, the force being applied in that direction. So that is a 45 degree angle at 100 pounds. OK? And then we've got a, uh, let's call it a pink vector. And that's 125 pounds and uh, at a 120 degree angle. So I just labeled my 60 degree angle as my reference angle there. So um, first thing I want you to kind of understand is that this is going to show us why we want to use unit vectors. So we can represent the blue vector as 75 pounds times the unit vector in that direction. So cosine of 30, comma, sine of 30. Okay? And we can represent the green vector as 100 pounds times the unit vector in that direction. So cosine 45, comma, sine 45. And then we can represent the pink vector as 100. OK, now we have three different forces all putting poundage weights on this point. So what we can consider this is adding these vectors, OK? So what if we took that blue vector and then tried to kind of copy the green vector to that, and then if we took the green vector and kind of tried to copy the pink vector to that, I'm out of space. You can imagine where it would end up. Our resultant vector would have would look something like that. Okay, I hope you can kind of imagine that. That's what we're doing. We are adding the blue vector, the green vector, and the pink vector. Our resultant vector is going to be this black vector. It's going to have a direction and a magnitude, and it should, you know, kind of look like this. This is going to be where the, the, the weight is being pulled when we add the, the force upon these three. OK, so we're just going to add the components. So the, the long, ugly form would be force 1 plus force 2 plus force 3 is going to result in a vector that's going to be the, that 75 times the cosine of 30 plus 100 cosine 45 plus 125 cosine of 120, comma, and then I'm just going to write the J component down below. So that's going to be 75 sine of 30 plus 100 sine of 45 plus 125 times the sine of 120. OK, so that's what our big vector is going to look like. So now let's clean that up. So we'll call this R for the resultant vector. And I've already done some calculating. Um, so it ends up being 73.16.
comma 216.46 to clarify I just got these rounded decimals from this comma that so I just popped that in on my calculator okay so hey look I feel pretty good about this if you think about it if you look at this triangle it kind of seems like this could be represented by about 73.16 if you compare it to how I drew that that green arrow and then this one could be about 216.46 and that's literally what we're saying that is the the components of our resultant vector vector is 73 in the x direction and 216 in the y direction that's our resultant force so to find um, that angle we would just do well let's see how will we find this angle right here in trig we have the opposite and the adjacent so we say tangent of theta is 216.46 over 73.16 and you take the tangent inverse of both sides and you get theta is about equal to 71.3 degrees Okay, and then um, to find the magnitude of R, hopefully we're getting good at this, it's just the square root of 73.16 squared plus 216.46 squared. And so the magnitude of R, again, that's going to be in pounds for this question. Um, I calculated to be about 228.5 pounds. And that is the answer to the question. So I want you to think about what you're doing. If we were pulling three different directions, so this is like your English class, this is like your physics class, they're pulling like in opposite directions, and then here's calculus somewhere in between, and we added up all those directions you would be being pulled, the result here is you would be being pulled about 228 pounds in a 71 degree direction from the positive x. And that's why we're learning how to add up vectors. Boom!